Chapter 9 I wondered why I was sobbing. I didn't feel sad, and the sobbing seemed to be going on by itself, in another room or somewhere away from me. I was trying to pull myself together, but I was together. I had a feeling that this was all leading somewhere, and I was happy about it. But this was serious. Pod people were no joke. I felt myself calming down. I wondered why I wasn't worried. Nothing like this had ever happened to me, and you don't discover that you've been invaded by the pod people every day. I was feeling very certain about all sorts of things that I didn't really understand. One thing I was certain about, not everybody was pod people. There were pod people and what? Lizards. The lizards were not podish at all. The chicken man was unpod. Shane Ferguson was no pod. I wasn't. Mom and Dad weren't. Leslie definitely was. I couldn't make up my mind about Walter. I hoped he wasn't. I spent a long time thinking about people I knew, pod or not pod. Most of them were. The late movie was about the guy in the Marines who was a coward all through boot camp, and then he has a talk with the old sergeant who turns out to be his father or something, and he's a hero in the war. Just as well, I couldn't have enjoyed anything good. I was waiting up for the lizards and my phone call to the chicken man. The lizards came on right after the late movie. The music was great. I flipped the knob, and sure enough, they were on every channel just as I thought. It was hard to tear myself away from the set and dial the number. When the receiver picked up on the other end, I could hear lizard music coming through the phone. It sounded good. For some reason, I thought of hot soup. Ferguson's confectionery, I heard. Mr. Ferguson, this is Victor, I said. Is the chicken man there? Never heard of him, Shane Ferguson said. Hold the line, I held. Then a voice, Milo Stunk here. To whom am I addressed? This is Victor, I said. Is this the chicken man? How should I know, the voice said. You just said it was Victor. I mean, am I talking to the chicken man, I shouted. You are talking to Peter Bruegel the Elder, known to some as the CM, the voice said. I'm Victor, the kid you've been following around, I said. My man, Victor, how are you? Mixed up, sort of, I said. I've been trying to get in touch with you. I want to make an appointment. Fine. "'Come to my office tomorrow,' said Peter Bruegel the Elder, also known as Milo Stunk, a.k.a. Charles Swan, Hubert Van Eyck, Matthias Grunewald, Lucas Cronach, Jr., Herr Dr. Professor Horace Kupecki, PLTD. "'Where's that?' I said. Uh, "'What's tomorrow? Wednesday. Try the Reptile House, Hogborough Zoo, late in the a.m. "'I'll be there,' I said. "'By the way, how much do you charge?' "'That depends on what you want done.' I want some things explained, I said. No charge for explanations, the chicken man said. However, there is a charge for guiding. I'm a licensed guide. What, I said. Buzz. He had hung up. I finally got to see the end of the lizard show. They just finished playing and left, packed up their instruments and walked off, carrying little black musical instrument cases. Then the camera showed the empty chairs for a long time. I guessed it was time to go to bed. I had a lot to do in the a.m., as the chicken man said. It's time to play, you bet your duck, a voice said. I jumped. It was coming from the TV set. The picture was still the empty chairs. Yes, friends, you bet your duck, the exciting lizard quiz. The picture had changed. There was a lizard wearing a Donald Duck mask. And here's your old friend, the genial quiz master, the inept eft, the lizard announcer in the duck mask said. Another lizard in a duck mask came out of the screen. He was smoking a cigar through the mask. Welcome, welcome to You Bet Your Duck, the inept eft said. And now, let's meet our first two contestants. Two more lizards wearing duck masks came out. The inept eft asked them their names. Jim and Linda Lacerta, they said. It was interesting listening to lizards talk. They sounded perfectly normal. Up to now, I had only heard them play musical instruments. As you know, every correct answer is worth 75,000 Agama dollars, the inept eft said. Twelve wrong answers in a row and you lose the game. I wonder what an Agama dollar was. And now it's time to play You Bet Your Duck, the quiz master said. The first question is, who invented the telephone? Jim and Linda Lacerta sort of whispered to each other. Then they turned to the inept eft. 
Was it Salamander Graham Bell? Correct, for 75000 a gamma dollars, the F said. Next question, name a famous Spanish painter who was a lizard. Jim and Linda whispered again. They were still whispering when the bell rang. I'm sorry, there goes the bell, the F said. The correct answer is El Gecko. Remember, eleven more wrong answers in a row, you lose the game. The next question is, name the lizard who conquered the ancient world. Jim and Linda went back to whispering. Come on now, this should be easy after the first question, the F said. Salamander the Great, they both shouted at once. Right for 150,000 agama dollars, the F shouted. The audience was clapping. I wondered why they all wore duck masks. I was getting a little bored and tired, except that everyone was a lizard wearing a duck mask and speaking English. It was just a regular quiz show. Red scales in the sunset is correct for 225,000 agama dollars, the F was shouting. I wondered how many lizard programs were on late at night. I was starting to doze off with my chin on my fist. Every now and then it would slip off and I would wake up suddenly. I'm sorry, you should have known that. The answer is Newt Rockne, the F said. My eyes were burning. My head was nodding. She said, Iguana be alone. Jim and Linda said. Key wrecked for 375000 agama dollars, the F said. I got to my feet. I felt as though I were walking on the bottom of a lake. My feet were like lead. I'm sorry, it's the Emperor Max Chameleon. Click. I turned off the set and dragged myself to my room. I hadn't slept in my bed for two nights, and it felt great when I got in. I could still sort of hear the inept F in my head. Elizabeth Taylor is right for a half a million agama dollars. I was asleep in five seconds. <laughs>